afternoon, everyone, and congratulations to you all. Years of hard work and dedication, and I hope some fun nights out, out along the way. Um, this has been the most inspiring speech I've had to write to date, and that's because it means so much to me. My work with dementia began organically and has become inherently my passion. I first became aware of dementia at my first Alzheimer's Society memory walk in Nottingham in 2011. It was the first time I'd been asked to cut a ribbon, so I thought, well, that's a lovely thing to do. And off I went to Google what Alzheimer's was. I quickly learned the effects dementia has on the brain, becoming very forgetful with names, losing objects, and it seemed to me it wasn't something that affected people in younger life. Sadly, in 2013, my non iris was diagnosed with vascular dementia. Dementia was no longer just a connection to a charity I was supporting, it was now affecting those I love most. A very confusing time for my family, and my mum quickly discovered the lack of support surrounding dementia, also the lack of coverage in the media. You could say it was the forgotten disease. What my mum did discover, though, was music. My nonna lost the ability to speak in her later stages, and my mum would sing to her nursery rhymes, Doris Day, the classics, and there was no denying it connected us when words couldn't. My focus on dementia had grown, and I wanted to know more. So Inside Out, a local TV show on BBC, contacted me, and very bravely, my mum and Uncle Colin allowed us to document the difficulties we were facing caring for my nonna. The response was overwhelming, and the findings throughout the show were unsettling, to say the least. Through my acting career, I'd gained a platform I wanted to put to good use, so when Curve Media approached me to make a two-part documentary for BBC One, I took it, and then became our dementia choir. Always in bright red, ironically, um, my nonna's favourite colour, a group of people aged from 30s to 90s, and all with a common understanding and a love of music. Here we had the chance to delve deeper and ask more questions, put the spotlight on dementia, and find some joy along the way. The choir members and their families and carers welcomed us into their worlds. They talked us through their struggles and why music was a key part of their coping mechanism. Julie in the choir taught me not to say suffering with dementia, but living with dementia. Mick, who is here today, taught me this doesn't just affect the elderly. Mick was diagnosed when he was 51. I learned there are over 150 types of dementia, so this isn't just about being forgetful. This is Britain's biggest killer. With no cure and music making such a huge difference to their lives, I knew we had to make as much noise as possible so that everybody living with dementia can have access to things like music therapy. Here at the University of Nottingham, we sang every week in the music hall. We saw them become a very close group of people, supporting one another and always leaving uplifted and full of life. We delved into the signs behind the power of music. We found strong evidence our choir was gaining not only a better mood, but it was having a positive Im impact on them physically. It seemed music really was medicine. After a fantastic response to the show and a BAFTA nomination and lots of requests to hear the choir sing at various events, I'm pleased to say we have now completed our third series of our Dementia Choir, which will be coming to you soon, and we are also a registered charity. To be awarded a Doctor of Letters at University of Nottingham today, just 10 minutes away from my house, the place where our Dementia Choir was formed, among so much esteemed intellect, creative minds, and excellence in your fields, this is for sure my personally proudest day to date. I didn't get many GCSEs, and I'm not the best reader, but I love people. They give me purpose. This doctorate gives me purpose. And if there's any advice I can give to you today, I am 40 next year, so I do feel at an age I can say that now, um, it's service service to others. The world is a really difficult place to navigate and for those living with dementia and other life-altering illnesses, we must do our bit. Now, before we all throw our hats in the air, I would just like to take a minute to thank everybody at the University of Nottingham, not just for this honour, but all your support for our Dementia Choir. To Karen Bonser, who's also here today, our charity manager who goes above and beyond. Thank you so much to Professor Justine Schneider for your kind words today and for all the work you do in dementia awareness and care. 
to Peter Coventry and Curve Media for creating a show that I feel has made a real difference, to Grace at Music for Dementia, the Alzheimer's Society, Mark DeLissa for being the best choir master you could wish for, the entire Our Dementia Choir family. We have lost 10 members now to date, and whilst I know we will lose more along the way, they all leave a huge legacy. It is thanks to my fiance, Johnny, to my mum, my dad, my sister, Jenny, my brother-in-law, my brother-in-law, my brother-in-law, Carl, and to Kai and Dexter, my nephews, and all my friends that I get to do the work that I do. Thank you very much, everybody.